we're going to transform this simple bowl of giant shrimp into one of the most iconic tapas in the entire country, garlic shrimp. It's also known in Spain as gambas al ajillo. Preparing tapas is usually a really simple process. You take a star ingredient, like these shrimp, I'm using 12 jumbo shrimps, and you add to it a few of the most common ingredients in a Spanish pantry. We'll be adding six cloves of thinly sliced garlic, little spritz of lime to finish, small amount of salt, a little bit of classic spicy pimenton, gives it a really smoky flavor, few slices of bread, and about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. And today I'm using frantoyo because the sweetness of the flavor of frantoyo marries perfectly with the sweetness of these shrimp. And it's gonna take us all of five minutes to prepare. We'll start to prepare the shrimp. I use a perfect tool from the garden, uh, garden shears. And first what I wanna do is pull off the head and then to make this super simple, I just cut down the back of the shrimp, peel back all that, make sure you leave the tail, because we don't want to lose that, and one's done. Now let's go to the second one. Off with the head, cut down the center. The other little trick that this does is it also eliminates that center vein that sometimes people bother to take, and I don't always remove it, but it makes it a lot easier. Next simple step, slice up some garlic. And we're going to make thin slices all the way through the garlic. Be extra careful when you're doing this. You don't wanna nip your fingers, and if you do that, then just tilt it on its side like I'm doing. Now grab a fresh baguette, cut off six half inch slices, pop them in the toaster and get ready to line a classic Spanish cazuela dish. Add the toasted pieces of baguette to the bottom because we're gonna have an incredible amount of garlicky shrimp flavored olive oil juices going. I have the burner on a medium heat. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of olive oil. And I'll admit, because we have so much olive oil, I always use a little extra. I love the flavor of the oil, and I love the sauce that it creates. First step is adding all the garlic slices to the pan. And we're going to let these go for two or three minutes so that they get not crunchy, but definitely nice and brown with a good flavor on them. It's been all of about three minutes. You can see the garlic is just starting to get toasty. We don't want it too brown. And at this point, we want to take it out because it's done its job of infusing the oil. And we'll add it back in after we have the shrimp finished. We want to start layering the shrimp in very gently in around. You don't want to crowd them. You want to make sure they have plenty of space. And as this cooks, it'll take a couple of minutes and then we'll flip them over. I wish you were here to smell this. The garlic, the shrimp flavor, oh my gosh, pretty incredible. And now I'm gonna add just a touch of salt all around and the classic Spanish pimenton. And I just wanna add a little bit because that smoky, toasty flavor will really up the flavor on the whole dish. Now I can toss these around a little bit. And we're all done. That's all the time it takes. I'm going to place my shrimp 
on top of the baguettes. And now the finishing touch, pouring some of this incredible oil and the garlic bits all over the top of the shrimp and those toasted baguette slices below. Mm -hmm. What a lunch. Last is to add just a little bit of parsley so you have a bit of green flavor. Makes it look more like spring. Serve it with a couple of beers, a couple of slices of lime, and you got an incredible tapa to serve to your guests in no time at all. Thanks a lot for joining me in my Spanish kitchen today. And stick around while we continue to explore incredibly healthy Spanish recipes that all take advantage of eating the Mediterranean way every day.